take out his heart and then put it back together and not kill him. It makes no sense. Welcome. So then when it comes time to start YouTube, obviously super risky. Uh, the biggest thing that fascinates me about the people who made it in, in those sort of lanes is like, there's no blueprint. You can do anything, which can be a gift and a curse. What do you start doing? Like, what are you filming on? What's your concept? Like, what's that all look like? Yeah, I f so no, no matter who you are, what kind of videos you watch, what do you do in your personal life, what are you into, no matter who you are, there's a group of people out there yeah. with, does, with those exact interests. I had this exact talk with somebody else before, and they were like, well, what if I'm a 40-year-old guy that still plays with Legos? There's not many people like me, right? Yeah. I was like, I don't know, let's see. So I pulled my phone out, went on YouTube, and I looked up adults playing with Legos. Bro, it's a thing. <laughs> it's there's there's grown-ass <laughs> men that have jobs at places like Google, like tech jobs, who yeah. come home, take off their suit, and build a Star Wars spaceship, yeah. and they spend three years building this gigantic thing. And then they make a video out of it, yeah. and half a million people watch them. And then Lego sponsors them yeah. with newer limited edition stuff. Yeah. So no matter who you are, there's people out there that have the same interests, yeah. and they they some of them can't afford to do what, what you do. Some of them can't afford the Legos, I have no time. Yeah. So they want, they want to come home from, from work, eat a bowl of cereal, and watch you yeah. Do you play with Legos and they envision themselves being your friend and being there with you and, and experiencing that feeling. Yeah. So it, it, it just simply comes down to who are you and what need are you going to fulfill in people? Are you going to be an educational channel and fulfill a need in learning, a math problem, a DIY on how to fix, how to set up a nice, beautiful studio, uh, studio dec uh, decor? Yeah. Or are you going to be a funny channel and entertain people? Yeah. Are you going to be a you know, fitness channel and teach people how to get a bigger bicep? Yeah. So once you, once you decide that, then you, then you structure your channel and your videos in a way to target those people and fulfill those needs. Yeah. So if you're a fitness channel, everything needs to scream fitness. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta be fit, first of all. You gotta, have your, you gotta have your thumbnail screaming, hey, I'm a fit guy, I know what I'm doing, let me teach you what, yeah. what to do now. So did you do that at that age, at 21? Were you, were you already starting to figure that out? No. Like, like, you, <laughs> said, like you said, there's no blueprint, yeah. or what, what there is now. Yeah. Back then there was no blueprint. Yeah. Um, so there was no, like, there was no class in school called how to be a social media influencer. Yeah. And there was no courses or programs, there was no mentors. Yeah. You know, so I, I literally had to email bigger channels and say, hey, look, I'll film for you. I'll work for you for free. I just need to figure out what makes your videos get 10 million views. Yeah. When I have the same video, but I get 500 views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there was no blueprint. It took me from, um, it, it took me, I think, nine months to gain my first 100K subscribers. Yeah. Made so many mistakes and I was just rinse and repeating my, my things that I would do good. Yeah and not repeat the same the mistakes. Yep. And I would, re I would reverse engineer top channels as videos to see why they're going viral. Yep. Does viral mean, oh, lucky, I'm a YouTube angel, boom, magic spell, you're viral? Yeah. Or is there a formula yeah. that makes the viewers not only watch the video and go, ha, that's funny, next, yeah. or watch and say, wow, this is so funny, it, it made me feel a certain way, now I wanna share it to seem like a reliable source of this content yep. to my own Facebook friends. Yep. So I figured all this out little by little. Finally, when I figured it out, it was 2016, two years later, I had a million subscribers, and then it took me a couple of more years to get to four million. Last year, this time, I had four million subscribers. Yeah. Now I'm almost at um, eight. So I doubled in just a year. Yeah. So it just, it just comes down to learning the science. I mean, if you, if you ask a surgeon, how do you, how do you open a guy's heart? Take out his heart and then put it back together and not kill him. It makes no sense. Yeah. It does. Yeah. You go to you go to medical school, you learn the A, B, C to Z on how to do that and and get perfect results. Yeah. Unfortunately, fortunately and unfortunately, society still does not look at social media influencers as a reliable job or career. Yeah. It's fortunate because if you're interested, prime time, yeah. hop on it right now. It's unfortunate because it's just, you know, there's no, there's no college for it. Yeah. So you got talented people busting their ass on, on videos yeah. and then saying, ah, I get no views. I don't understand why it's a yeah. good video. Yeah. Why, why won't people watch it? Because yeah. they don't, there's, they don't understand SEO tags. How does YouTube work? How does the algorithm work? The science behind triggering emotion in the viewers to make them want to actually share that video, yeah. which then turns, turns one view into potentially 50 because they have 50 Facebook friends that yeah. watch it also. Yeah. yeah. That's the huge thing that I think once again, like social media was sort of discounted for so long. 
And now that I know more people like you that have done this, there's so much more of a science to it than like, oh, I don't know, he made this funny video and it went viral and now he's famous. You know what I mean? And I think, to be honest, I don't want to sound complainy, but like we sort of discount everyone's success, right? Like we look at movie stars and we're like, oh, well, he's just really good looking and he probably ran into so-and-so at a party. And, you know what I mean? Like we kind of do that. We don't really look at or dissect the story of how you build a successful movie star, YouTuber, entrepreneur, any of that stuff, right? So that's where I think people like you that are talking more about the entrepreneurial side of this stuff, like you have a really big lane because it's looked at as luck or, ah, you were born funny and like whatever, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and really understanding that side of it I think will be really, really valuable. Yeah. Guys, if you like that and you want to see more like it as well as vlogs, other web series, and all the random stuff that I'm doing here on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I promise.